So um, like under some circumstances, people uh, need robotic to perform tasks such as ocean detection, working under high radiation environment, surgical operation, and sewer cleaning. So there are so many tasks we need robotics. However, instead of a robotic controller, we can use real human limbs to uh, replace the robotic controller that are more convenient, flexible, and extendable. So my project is to replace robotic controller with real human limbs to command a robotic arm. Here, in my project, I use a Kinect device. A Kinect device is a motion sensing input device by Microsoft. So let's see the physical structure of a Kinect. Here, in the color, there is a color camera. And on the left, there is a infrared projector. And there's an infrared camera. And on the bottom, there are four microphones. The infrared projector will emit infrared rays. And because infrared rays are invisible for human beings, so under the uh, assistance of a uh, filter, we can see it like this. So when the lights projected, on the wall, we can throw, throw those dots from here. So based on this device, Microsoft developed a library, which is a Kinect for Windows SDK. And it enables the developers to build applications that support motion and voice recognition by using Kinect sensor technology. So in the library, there are three main channels, the color, that the, the dark color represented the closed area, the closed distance, and the, the light area represents the, the further distance. And this is a skeleton channel, this is the main uh, channel. And the depth has a valid scale. The valid scale is within 2 feet 7 inches to 13 feet 1 inch and it has an angle uh, it is only visible valid uh, within 43 degree vertically and uh, 57 degree horizontally out of this range nothing will be detected so since we have the depths the library can build a 3 dimensional space it has x, y, and z coordinates. And, uh, and if using the image processing technique, the library can uh, identify the human and build a skeleton for the human. And for each human, for each skeleton, it has 20 joints. So using this library, I built my project. It has three main parts. First, Kinect project. The Kinect project is um, detect a human and generating commands for the robotic arm. And the second part is using robotic arm to implement those commands. The last part is the communication between these two projects. So in the first part, in the Kinect project, there is a main algorithm to measure distance between two joints. Here I'm, I'm using Euclidean distance math uh, equation to uh, measure the two points since we have the three dimensional locations for them. So this is the analysis of the accuracy of this algorithm. So uh, on the top there's a table and there's a real distance. The real distance is one bit of size long. And the measure distance, when the user stands one meter away from the camera, the measure distance is 0.34 meters. And the, the two meters away from the camera is uh, 0.32. Uh, after that is 33, and after that is 32. And, and this is the 
the real distance, the blue bar. And this is um, the, the measured distance um, when the user is one meter away. This is four meters away. So also, this is a two feet size long. When the real distance is uh, around two feet, and the measured distance like this. And when the user is uh, two meters away from camera, the measured distance like this. And this is a three feet size long. So in general speaking, the accuracy is um, about 90%. We can use it. Based on this, I feel the general commands to the A commands up, down, left, right, wall, back wall, and close, and open. So, how, how to use a gesture to represent those commands? Here, I use up command for the down command. Just simply lift both of my hands like this over my hand for 0.2 meters then the up command will be generated. Later I will show the rest commands in my implementation part. So the second part is uh, the robotic arm project. We don't have uh, a real robotic arm, so I build a virtual soft software to simulate the robotic arm. So here, I use Adobe Flash to build a robotic arm like this. This robotic arm will implement those commands, the eight commands. So up, down, left, left, right um, commands are just changing the position of the robotic arm. Just up, down, left, right. And the forward command is a little bit different. That will reduce the arm to make it smaller. That represents more the robotic arm move forward. And the back wall. Back wall is to make it larger. That represents more the robotic arm. The close arm, the close command will close the fingers of that arm, and open will do the opposite way to open the fingers of the robotic arm. So the last part will be the communication between these two projects. So here I use TCP protocol technique. First, I build the, the PNA project in the server side and the. The project R pro, uh, the robotic arm project in the client side and uh, build and build a socket object for these two projects uh, for communication. After a handshake, the communication is successfully generated and then a command packet can send to the server to the client. Okay, let me implement my project. <coughs> 